Hey, I've got a beautiful introduction to a song for you, and the song is called Kikaro by Eitan Katz. So let's go break it down. The first thing you're going to need to use is a capo, one of these things. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to put it, you're going to clamp it down like this on the third fret. And now let's start to learn the song here. You're going to start off with an A minor shape, like this. And you're going to need to use your pinky to put it down the second to bottom string here on the third fret. You don't really need to have the finger down yet, so let's start off with the A minor shape. And this is how it's going to start, like this. We're going to start off here by the fifth string. Those are the first three notes. In slow motion. The second time you play this pattern, you're going up to the fourth string instead of the fifth string. If you notice there, he likes going back up to these two strings here. Alright, so now let's go from the first chord to the second chord, which is going to look a bit like a G shape. So this is basically a G shape, which would look like this but your pinky is going to be moved up one string. And you might be used to playing the G chord like this, although right now you're going to need to play it like this because you're going to need to use your pointer finger in a second. So let's do this. Let's look at the hand on the fretboard. The second time you play the second string, you take off your pinky. So this part is a bit complex over here, and we're going to break this down a bit slowly into about five parts here. Open note, close note, open note, hammer on, pull off, and the note on top. And then back into the A minor shape. 